I'm Jordan Shade with Groovy Yeah here to tell you about the Terry Fox run coming up on uh, Sunday, September the 15th. And to let you know the dates in total, Kelowna has raised 15985 The registration will take place at 10 o'clock. The run will take at 11 a.m. at Mission Sports Field. In Kamloops, they've raised $2,100. Registration's at 9 o'clock. The run will take place at 10 a.m. at the Riverside Bandshell. In Penticton, they raised $1,995. Registration is at 8.30 a.m. And the run takes place at 10 a.m. at the SS Sycamus, the big old boat. And in a Soyuz, They've raised 1440 Registration is at 8.15 a.m. And the race is at 9 a.m. at the Sonora Community Center. Salmon Arm, $510 is raised. Registration is at uh, 8 a.m. The race is at 10 at Blackburn Park. In Merit, $700 is raised. Ten thirty is registration. And 11 a.m. is the run at Vaunt Park. In Princeton, $100 is raised. Registration is at 9 a.m. 10 a.m. is the run at Veterans Square. In Summerland, $75 is raised. And registration will begin at 10 a.m., 11 a.m. at the Summerland Aquatic Center. Vernon does not have a race, but they have raised $25 to date. And I know that they're trying to get a run there. And in Oliver, they're not having a run this year, but they are raising funds. You can go to the Terry Fox Foundation website if you wish to and choose your city, town, and make a donation. So there are Terry Fox runs in Kelowna, Kamloops, Penticton, Soyuz, Salmon Arm, Merritt, Princeton, and Summerland. And again, there is no run in Oliver and Vernon this year. Vernon could not get an organizer in time. I think people need to know Terry Fox's story. And I think they need to learn that the 18-year-old Terry Fox... Porco Quitlam, B.C., never saw himself as remarkable. Granted, he displayed an unusual determination to achieve the goals he set for himself, but his orbit was local. Family, school, sports, friends. But Terry's cancer diagnostic of osteogenic sarcomia just above the knee, the subsequent amputation of his leg and experience in the cancer ward changed all that. A newly nurtured a reservoir of compassion combined with a fierce determination to bring an end to the suffering cancer causes set Terry on a path that quite simply changed the world. Terry's personal experience and research led him to a simple conclusion more money was needed for cancer research. And so in the modest but motivated style, that would prove to be his trademark. Terry started training and planning for his Cross Canada run to raise funds for cancer research. He dipped his artificial lake in the Atlantic Ocean on April 12, 1980, and proceeded to unite Canadians in a way never before nor seen. The only thing that could have stopped Terry from reaching the Pacific Ocean did. Cancer returned in his lungs and he was forced to stop on September 1st, 1980 after having run 5,373 kilometers. Before his death on June 28, 1981, Terry had achieved his one unimaginable goal of 
a dollar from every Canadian. More importantly, he had set in motion the framework for an event, the Terry Fox run that would ignite cancer research in Canada, raising more than $850 million dollars since 1980 and bring hope and health to millions of Canadians. That is Terry's story and legacy and I hope you all will find a run that is close to you. Just make sure to go to Terry Fox Foundation and search your location and if, like I said if you wish to donate you can and uh, like I said let's get out and let's stop cancer and September the 15th is run day.